I have to get ready for work and I thought it would be fun to turn on the camera and bring you along. There aren't going to be any new products, no new and innovative techniques that I've never tried before. This is just what I do every day when I don't have the camera on and I need to get ready for work. And I thought it might be fun to do this no edit style. Okay, fun might be a little bit of a wrong word choice here because it's actually really nerve wracking to think about turning on the camera and know that I can't edit out my stumbles and fumbles and flubs. It's also really hard because I've gotten into the habit of restarting saying something when I have flubbed it up because I know that I can edit it and splice it together. So I'm a little nervous, but we're going to do it anyway. And I am going to start with lip, lip gloss. This is the Essence Juicy Balm. I always put something on my lips to start getting them hydrated while I'm putting on my putting on my makeup and then when I'm ready for lip products I wipe that off and they are in good shape for the lip sticks lip pencils whatever man words are going to be hard today I can tell and um anyway so I need to I think I have everything I need in front of me I hope otherwise I might have to get up and go get something and you'll just have to wait for me to get back as always we're going to get rid of my hair off my forehead and get started. I had an eye appointment this morning, nothing important, just an everyday checkup. And if I don't mention what I'm putting on my face, by the way, it'll be linked down below and you can see it there. But I do have a travel size of the e.l.f. Niacinamide Power Grip Primer. So I'm going to use that today. Anyway, just had a regular checkup. And this was the first time they mentioned that I have the beginning of cataracts. cataracts. They said just a trace, nothing to be concerned about. It's not affecting my vision, probably 10 to 15 years down the road before it's something that I have to do anything about. But just one more of those, oh, by the way, you're getting older, kind of reminders. Not that I need those reminders. I get those every morning when I wake up and I have to like, you know, take a couple of steps before I can actually take a couple of steps, if you know what I mean. I do have some water here because I'm feeling really dry. I don't know if it's an allergy-ish kind of thing or exactly what, but. Um, so no change to my prescription though. That's really good. My eyes seem to be pretty stable. So I was glad about that. I am going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless version. I have mature oily skin if you're new here and you don't know that yet about me. And so a matte finish is very helpful to me. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm getting ready to go to work, like I said, and then I do have rehearsal tonight. So I'll be getting home about 10 o'clock. So nine and a half hours, something like that, nine hours uh, for this makeup. And so I want it to last. And so a gripping primer is, a, is good for that. And then I just dab it around and use a sponge to blend. So how are you guys? Um, did you have a good Easter weekend if you celebrate Easter? We did. It was also my mother-in-law's birthday on Saturday. So my brother, my, my brother, my husband's brother's family all also came down. And all together we had about 25 people at my mother-in-law's house to celebrate Easter and her birthday. And it was a really nice day. We were missing my son-in-law. He was working, but otherwise all of the kids and spouses and great grandkids, we were all there. We have three little ones now, my grandbaby and then my sister-in-law her husband and brother-in-law have two grandbabies. And so we had little ones collecting eggs. My grandbaby can't like walk around and get eggs yet, but she did pick up a couple off the ground and it was just so fun. And I got the distinct feeling of deja vu standing out there, except it wasn't my kids picking up eggs. It was my grandchild and others of that age. And so, I don't know, it was just kind of a, not bittersweet, but just poignant maybe moment of, you know, how the years pass and how our family has grown from the time that I was first coming there to visit with my husband and it was just his brother and him and me and his brother's wife. And now there's so many people and it was just really kind of cool. 
Um, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour full wear concealer. This one is in the color 325. I think it says eggshell. It's hard to read. I like to put this on the back of my hand because this is a huge dope foot. And if I use that to put it on, I'm going to have way too much and be dealing with a lot of creasing. So then I just dab my ring finger in like that. And even that's too much. I do think the shade might be one shade too light for me. And so with that, I have to be even more careful not to get too much. I like to start the blend with my finger and then use a brush to kind of diffuse it out. Remove a little bit of the excess. And I get really into this corner here too because I have a lot of darkness in the corner and then up under. I know they sit, people say don't put it right up under your eye, but I have a dark lo lower lash line. And so I do put it there, but I blend it really well. And then I will tap it out again before I powder. So anyway, so that was our Saturday. And then Easter itself was really pretty calm and mild. Um, we had church, of course, and then two of my older children came over for brunch. And so we just made a big breakfast. My daughter, my youngest daughter made cinnamon rolls. And so we just kind of hung out and visited. They didn't stay terribly late. And then we just kind of had a quiet afternoon after that. So, but it was a, it was a nice weekend. Um, I'm kind of expecting some storms this afternoon. I hope it doesn't get too terribly severe. And then I like to take, of course, I cannot find it right now, so I'm just going to use this. I have an e.l.f. concealer sponge, but I'm going to just use this little bitty tiny sponge here. This one is actually dry, and then I go in under my eye here and just dab out any excess concealer to make sure, and I always open up these creases right here to make sure that I don't have concealer settled in them. And then I'm not going to powder yet. I want that to dry before I powder, because if you put powder over a wet product, it's going to just kind of grab wherever there's wetness and look cakier. So cakier, more cakey. I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to let that dry before I do anything. So while I'm doing that, let's put on some eyebrows. This is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy micro brow precision brow brow stylist definer so has a spoolie on one end and then the micro brow pencil on the other and this color if i could see it i would tell you what it is but i can't so i won't i will put it down in the description box and let you know and you can figure it out down there so i didn't like write down a whole bunch of topics to talk about and i also just realized i didn't hook up my microphone so i will try to speak up so that you can hear me and i'll just you know as things come to mind oh i did have something i wanted to talk about what was it something other than the Realizing that, you know, grandkids were picking up eggs versus my kids. Oh, darn it. Don't you hate that when that happens? You you have some, like, you sit down to the computer because you needed to search for something. And as soon as you sit down, you can't remember what you were searching for. And suddenly you're like, you know, three videos deep in YouTube and forgot why you were sitting there. Man, is that just me? Please tell me that's not just me. Um, I do realize... <clears throat> That's kind of a function of my age. My daughter and I were talking on the way home from the eye doctor today. She's like, how? She's like, I really know a lot of songs. This was her talking. And she said, I'm not sure why I have so many songs, but I could sing like the lyrics to all of them. And she said, you'd think that if I could forget a few of those, maybe it would free up some memory for something else. And maybe that's the problem because I can remember every word to songs I learned when I was eight years old but I can't remember conversations I had last week sometimes. And if I could get rid of those songs from when I was eight years old that don't really matter, maybe I could remember the things that did matter. But I'm not sure it works that way anyway. 
So anyway, yeah, uh, one of that came up I don't know, a few months ago. Somehow we got on the topic of Anne Marie's snowbird. It's during the winter and there were birds in the snow and I suppose that's how it happened. But yeah, I just started singing it and pretty much sang every word and haven't heard that or, you know, haven't heard or thought of that song in 30 years or better. <laughs> but I could still sing it. So. I don't know. <sighs> anyway, we won't go. We won't go there. The oh, by the way, the primer I'm using is the Ulta Matte Nude Primer. It's almost gone. I haven't really been using it very much because I've been using the one that I have in my Out the Door in 24 project. And oh, that's something we could talk about. I have been picking up in the decluttering area for the house and I did not film it this weekend. Um, I worked on it Friday. I don't work on Fridays. And uh, we've cleaned out the mudroom and the front coat closet. So we got rid of a bunch of coats. I have two bags of clothes and shoes to donate and three bags of trash to get rid of. So we made some serious project in those two areas, kind of the mudroom, entryway, hall closet, that, that area there. And I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. Okay, so now that I've been talking and expressing and all of that kind of stuff, and my concealer's had time to set down, it's probably going to be creased. So let me look. Uh, not too bad, but yeah, you can look, I'm gonna come in really close. You can see like probably right in here under the lash line there, we've got some creasing going on. And that's why I like to let it set and move if it's going to, because now I know where there's too much product and I can go in and dab that off. And now I'm going to powder it. If I can find, there it is. I have this AOA Studio Perfect um, setting powder, and I actually like this under my eyes, I, but I don't want to use too much of it. But it's a really fine powder, and it doesn't make my eyes look cakey or older. At least I don't think I do. So we'll do that on that side. And then I do tap off the extra. And now I should not have creasing again with that concealer because I've given it time to do its movement, taken off the extra where it settled, and now it's set. So that's how I like to do my concealer these days. And I'm not putting on any other cream products. I'm not gonna use any cream bronzer or cream blush. So I'm going to go ahead with the Maybelline Fit Me powder and just go ahead and powder the rest of my face. Sorry, I have an itch. And I just load up the brush and tap it in there to get it into the brush deep in the bristles. And then as you pounce it on your face and move it around, it releases. And that way you don't end up getting this big of powder the first place you set your brush down. Now I do kind of like to powder over my brows and then grab one of my brow gels. This one is the Essence Make Me Brow. I like this one and the Elf and the Catrice. And then put this on my brows and the powder kind of grabs onto a little bit more of the brow gel making the little bitty tiny hair, blonde hairs that I have have a little bit more substance to them. Well, there you go. Now I just smeared a whole bunch of brow gel into my eye, onto my eyebrow. So we're gonna, you get to see me clean that up. So when I do that, you can see there's a big old smudge right there. I just kind of go in with a tissue and get the excess off. And then grab a clean spoolie. If I could actually see in that mirror, it would be better. And it's all taken care of. So if you make a mistake, don't panic. It's 
almost always fixable without having to completely take it off and start over. And now I should have my eye primer set. And again, using that 10x mirror, I'm going to just pat out any creases. I really didn't have any, but it's just, just have it. And I'm going to go into the um, Sydney Grace Glitzy Fritzy Blessed Palette. This one is in my Panning Cats and Dogs project, and I have it in for no pan left behind and also for five uses. So I have used it twice, and I don't know exactly which shades I've used, but I don't kind of, I really don't care today because I have something that I want to do. I'm going to go in first to my savior. I'm kind of interested in a little bit more of these warmer tones. So I'm going to use my savior, Cinnamon Girl. Can you see these? Fam Ely and Irish Irish Heat. This is such a pretty duochrome. What do you see? So first of all, my savior, and I'm just going to set my eye from crease to brow bone. A lot of times I will use my Wet n Wild Brulee for this step if a palette doesn't have a similar to me skin tone that I can do this with, but this one does. And I've heard Mary over Glitzy Fritzy say that you will be able to, you can buy My Savior as a single. So if you use that up, it's probably going to be the first shade to hit pan in this palette. You can purchase just that shade and put it back in there. So now I'm going to take Cinnamon Girl. It's a little bit warmer color. And I'm just going to put that in the crease and blend. This palette is just so good. I love it so much. The, the shades are pigmented, but not so much that you get it on your eye and you just don't know what to do with it. So you don't have to go hard in the pans to get payoff, but at the same token, you don't end up with so much on your eye that, like I said, you don't know what to do with it. You can't blend it. It's always easier to add than it is to take away. And so until you're familiar with a palette and its level of pigmentation, it's always a good idea to go in sparingly at first and then build up if you need, if you want to. And then once you get a feel for it, you end up to where you're getting the right amount, just kind of right off the bat. And so now I'm going to, by the way, I'm not even bothering like making with clean brushes. I'm just grabbing ones that look like they have a similar, have been used in a similar shade in the past. So now I'm going to go into Fam Ali and it's a little bit of a warmer dark brown and it's pretty dark. So I'm going to tap some of that off and I'm just tapping that in this outer V area on both sides. And then I'm going to take that same brush that I used for family and blend that dark into the outer portion of the eye to create some depth and definition. So as I said, I do have rehearsal tonight. We are in rehearsal for the show, The Play That Goes Wrong. And it is a comedy, kind of a comedy farce. <laughs> and as the name implies, things go wrong from the very beginning and they just get worse as the play goes on. So we are having a blast in rehearsals. And um, yeah, so I can't, it will be May when we, when we put that one on for the public. So this is the shade Irish Heat and it is this beautiful green, bronze kind of gold shifty shade and I just think it's stunning. So I'm putting that pretty much all over the lid leaving just the tiniest little bit of the inner corner not done because I get so dark there. I do not like to bring a dark shade that far in on my eyelid. So I will leave that there and then clean off my finger and I think I'm going to use my pinky and go into Be a Blessing, this one, this lighter shimmer here. 
and just dab that right in the inner corner just to lighten all of that up. I feel like if I put a deep color all the way in that it shuts my eyes down, closes them off, makes them look smaller, and I don't want to do that. So I am going to throw some br brushes around and then grab this little tiny pencil brush and again with this be a blessing and just get a little bit deeper and more concentrated right in that inner corner like that. So pretty. So pretty. Okay. So now let's take that. I am really tossing brushes today, you guys. And you just get to see it all because I'm not editing. Now, I might, if I have like a really loud sneeze or something so that I don't blow out your eardrums, I might edit that. But my goal is no edits. And so I got to get moving along. Otherwise, this is going to be way too long. Uh, for my eyeliner, I got it out. What did I do with it? Too many things sitting around. Mm, there it is. I found it. The Wet n Wild Coal Simmer, Simmer Brown now that is in my Out the Door in 24. And based on my usage for the first three months of the year, I probably will not finish this pencil, even though it's quite a bit smaller than it was when it started these things. Now, do I even have one? No, I don't think I even, I thought I had a black one, but I can't find it. Anyway, they're enormous. And they're, depending on where you get them, anywhere from 99 cents to $1.29. They just, I mean, really can't be beat. You don't have to touch very hard. They're creamy. They don't transfer to the lower water line. And I really like it. As far as I'm concerned, it's like the perfect brown for me too. It's deep enough to give the definition I want, but not so deep as to be harsh. I really, really rarely use a black eyeliner anymore because it just feels harsh to me. So I just don't do it. All right. Um, I'm not going to put mascara on yet because I like to put my setting spray on before I put mascara on. So let's go into the color face products. My Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Sunset Strip Tease. Broken package. But look at that pretty pan. It is kind of getting used up and I'm so happy about it. So just swirl around. I'm going to use a big fluffy brush and just kind of dust it over the tops of my cheeks. Not really contouring with it today. If I were going to contour, I would use a smaller brush and kind of chisel out under the cheekbones, um, but I'm not doing that. Using it a little bit like contour down here under the jawline, mainly because I just don't feel like getting out another product. So, and I'm going to kind of brush it just Everywhere. It's a gray day. We're supposed to get some storms later and I hope we don't get like severe storms because they're calling for the potential of two inch hail. And I have a relatively new car. I mean, it was August last year that we got it. I'd really like it to not have be all dinged up and dented up and have to be repaired. Um, of course, insurance. That's why we have insurance. So if it happens, it happens. But I'm kind of hoping it doesn't. Plus, we also have the chance for some, you know, tornado and things like that. And that just nobody needs. So we're praying that all of the severe stuff stays away. Rain is fine. Thunder and lightning is fine, but keep the severe stuff just away. Nobody needs it. All right. So the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush in C34 Tender Rose. I actually had one of these that I used up in 20, was it 23 or 22? I think it was in 2022 when I was doing my PUD, I used one of these up. But this one my daughter had, and she decided that she didn't like it because it was shimmery, more shimmery than she liked and didn't want it anymore. So I said, okay, give it back, give it to me. And now I have another tender rose to use up, which is fun because I think it's super pretty. And it is, it is shimmery, but I don't think it's like overly shimmery. You may disagree. If you're not into shimmery blushes, you probably won't like this one, but I think that it gives a nice glow without glitter. It's not a glitter shimmer. And not that I need more shimmer because I already 
have a shimmery blush on, but I'm going to use the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter too, just because I have it for a while and I kind of want to. Like I said, it's a gray day and so I want to sparkle from within because the sun's not doing anything today. So there we go. And I'm going to just take that powder brush that I used earlier. I can put any more powder on it, but I'm going to go over that blush, bronzer, highlight, just to smooth all those edges out. All right, I am going to spray some. Okay, you guys might get to be the witness to me using up this LA Girl setting spray. There's just a tiny little bit in there and we'll see how bad it spits all over my face. But this is, if this goes, this is the first product in my Out the Door in 2024 that will get used up and you'll see it here. Yeah, it's spitting. Oh man, <laughs> I'm going to have to dab that out. It's gone, you guys. Yay! I'm so excited. All right, where's my sponge? Because <laughs> that did spit all over me. Oh, wow. Just going to work. Not like I'm going to be walking the red carpet and having people picking over my outfit and my makeup. Okay, that's better. But it does still need to dry. And I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I love this e.l.f. eyelash curler. It is the perfect shape for my eyes. And I didn't really realize before that eyelash curlers, I mean, it makes sense. They're different, of course. They have a different level of curvature. They're bigger or smaller. I have this other one here that I believe is maybe a Revlon one. And it's not as deeply curved. If you look at the the profile here, it's not as deeply curved and I feel like it wants to um, flatten out my eyelid when I use it. And so I don't really like it, but I have a rounder eye like this. And so this eyelash curler works really well for me. Um, I couldn't find it for a while and I was really sad because I had to use the other one and I didn't like it. I'm going to use the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational. It has an identical wand to the Thrive and the Elf Lash Extender. But for me, this is not a tubing mascara. Um, it does go on well. It doesn't fly, flake or smudge, but it does not remove like a tubing mascara. Um, I've heard some people who don't like this because the wand is super flexible. But that doesn't bother me because, I don't know, I guess I don't need to push that hard. It's a wet formula, and so you do get quite a bit on there. So anyway, I like it. I think that it builds up lashes pretty quickly. And two coats, and I'm ready to go. But I don't have to, like, work extensively to get it on for the first coat and get things separated. Sometimes, you know, it all goes on in a blob or it's dry and then it doesn't go on well at all. And you're just, you're just like, you know, go, going and going, going back in, getting more, brushing it, going back in, getting more. And this one, you don't have to do that. So, and you'll actually see, and I actually did, pick a mascara purposely that builds up quickly because a lot of times I will speed that up or edit out all of that build up for the mascara because let's face it it gets a little boring watching somebody put on mascara but at the same time sometimes it's nice to know that okay they actually spent like you know three minutes putting on their mascara to get it to look like that and you might not want to spend that long. If not, this one works. So there we go. Um, lips, and I'm going to be done. I have the uh, e.l.f. Cream Glide Lip Liner. These are the $2 ones, and this is in Pinky Swear. Let me grab my tissue. I don't really have any lip balm left, but I like to take it off because otherwise the lip liner just moves too much and I'm not going to talk I'm 
This actually needs to be sharpened. Pardon me while I do that because the, <laughs> the wood on the side of the pencil is scratching my lips. So. There we go. That was much nicer. And then my very favorite lip. I could probably take this down so I don't have to sit here with my hair up. My very favorite lip stick is the Flower Beauty. These are the Petal Pout, and this is the Matte Formula. It's O2O Naked Blush. This is my second one of these. I completely used one up earlier, this year, late last year, I think it was. Um, I do have a video that you might enjoy about products that I love so much. I use them up and repurchase them, and I will put that in the cards if you are new here and haven't seen it. By the way, if you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you have found our little corner of YouTube. And if you are in midlife especially, but at any age, you are welcome. This journey of life is beautiful. And I think that we need to take time to look for the beauty, even in the yucky days, because it's there if we just look for it. So sometimes it's harder to find, sometimes it hides, but we can always find something. So anyway, I'm going to use the NYX Butter Gloss in... What is this? Tiramisu, I think. Yeah, tiramisu. It is a little bit pinker than the lipstick that I used, and so it's going to like bring that up a little bit. And honestly, that's kind of all I'm doing for work today. My hair just is going to get brushed and sprayed. Oh, no, I already did that. I was going to say I needed setting spray, but I already did that. Um, so that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this no editing style of video. I am going to enjoy not having to edit it and just kind of run through to make sure that there wasn't anything technical that happened. But otherwise, um, I'll be able to get this up very quickly because I don't have to edit it. That is definitely the longest part of YouTube for me is the editing. I love filming. I don't mind editing. It just takes a really long time. So no edits here and I am ready for work. I hope you all have a beautiful blessed day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.